We are back at it again here with another video and welcome to all the first time viewers and investors and to all the subscribers welcome back we're going to jump straight right into it in this video and I want to share with you guys here you're going to see it popping up on the screen the different times on the monthly period not the weekly or daily period of the charts monthly period back in the dot com bubble right you see it popping up there back in the 2007 08 crash you see it popping up there those bear indicators that lasted several weeks, months, and almost years, right? Then we got it again in 2020 and briefly in 2019. Those are the last four times that we've seen a bear indicator pop up in the last 20 plus years, right? So the question is, could we see that happen next in the process? Because we've shown here in the channel what the one day and the one week is showing and we're going to break it all down in today's video. Everything I'm watching moving forward within the volatility because I don't believe volatility is going anywhere anytime soon. But within the volatility, there's always opportunities. And we have our spy bot, QQQ bot over at the Discord. And our spy bot this morning since 8 a.m. sent us out a bear indicator. And put options were up 5x to 7x within an hour, guys. This is our new release that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down, and you can now gain access as well and join the other members that are receiving the clarity they deserve to maximize to either direction of every single opportunity, whether stocks go up or down or sideways, right? There's always an opportunity within the volatility and with 42 vision and ultimate 42 vision, you will receive the clarity you deserve. Now we're going to break everything down in today's video, but before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, we strive for opportunities like these every single morning. Check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us. We're going to jump right into it here with the SPY and Ultimate 42 Vision. We're going to break it down on how it allows us to have that edge to maximize within this volatility and be prepared and aware guys prepared and awareness is going to be the biggest part of patience and discipline to maximize within these current market conditions guys and the volatility i believe is going to persist and being able to be equipped and have that clarity will make all the difference and we're going to break it down in today's video so the home runs of the day were spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So these are the two stocks I mentioned this morning. Both of them gave 5 to 10%, 10 to 15%, but one of them turned out to be a home run. And that was HYMC, guys. We caught HYMC early on in the pre-market. It was actually consolidating and pulling downwards. And towards the bell, it had a quick run of about 10 to 20% plus. Pulled back down, took off into transitions of strength here on 42 Vision. Got a bull indicator and hit a highest point of 90% plus, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us and let's jump into these charts. So SPY has been pushing upwards. And if we go back to history, like I showed you, you could see it here back in the dot com bubble. Then we have 07, 08, and then we have the 2020 and 2019 briefly touching a bear indicator. These bear indicators do not always pop up. So what we're watching now is could there be one popping up eventually if we go back to the dot-com bubble right we started shifting right from green to bright green with red borders to red before we finally saw a bear indicator and things were looking pretty bearish right and it continued it took some time before that confirmation popped up and then it continued down to the lows down here from 132 at that time that the spy was worth to 80 dollars right and then we have here the other one in 07 and 08, and it started shifting and it went into red. So the main thing I'm looking for is, will these shift from
from bright green with red borders to red and in the process will there be a confirmation of a bear indicator okay now the 2020 crash was so quick it did not last for more than two months but if this pain of downward trend continues for the next several months that could be a possibility to pop up and we may see red bars pop up with a possible bear indicator now the one i've been tracking and sharing with you guys that has given us clarity since the beginning of the year right back in january 4th and 10th there was that shift going from green to red it continued the next bar was pretty large and on the third bar of this continuation, which we've already had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine back to back red bars. On the third one, we got that bear indicator up here at 458. It rejected twice the next two weeks and it just continued downward since then, right? So, super important to realize where we stand here with the spy and everything going on within the volatility, guys. I want you guys to be aware that you are going to want clarity through this volatility. If by any chance you're having moments on days, you're not understanding why today the stock market's going up and then the next day going down and you're not being able to see within that volatility what's going on within the charts and what news is going on as well affecting the charts. There's a lot of opportunities that are being missed, guys, because here on the 30 minute, you can clearly see that bottom here Then went up bear indicator the next day. Things went downwards, bull indicator, and it lasted very short lived. And then we got here at that bear indicator today that lasted all day. But if I put the five minute right, this is what our bot actually follows. There's plenty of opportunities within the volatility to maximize in either direction, guys within the movements to the point that this bull indicator popped up and it pulled downwards and if no bear indicator pops up there is something within the charts that actually was met right specific levels were met within the volatility that the bull indicator popped up no bear indicator negated it and it continued upwards and it lasted all the way until today at the opening bell so call options within that run were maximized of two to three X and into the next day they were up even though things were pulling down because it went up from that beginning point to this point right here. Now theta could have actually ate up some of the gains, but they were still up. And in today's transition to the downside, that bear indicator since 8 15 AM was strong. Same thing here as well. The day before where it seemed like the stock market was going to fall after CPI down and everything was reported and things actually were going up beforehand, right? You just see things going up and it was under a bull indicator since the day before and call options were up five to seven X that day since the bell to its highest point. So always in the volatility, this one right here was phenomenal. This was the date that the president was speaking. It went downwards, took off. And then right after it went back down maximization to the upside maximization to the downside. I mean, phenomenal type of volatility and then a very clear maximization here on March 7th bear indicator things just going into further weakness like within the volatility with this clarity, there will be points of maximization. That's what I want to emphasize and make you guys understand. But let me share with you guys what it is. I am watching on the one day, the one week and one month to see what's going on in the bigger picture. So let's go ahead and start here with the one month. The first thing I'm looking for the one month, as I stated earlier in the video, is if it shifts from green with red borders to red bars and then following a bear indicator like it has done in the last two recent big crashes, the dot com bubble and then 0708. That's the main thing I'm going to be looking for. And the way we know if things are really bottoming out and going into further weakness of extreme weakness, which actually lasts for several years, not several months, but years is once it hits white with red borders. And we're going to look at white with red borders now on the one week and the one day, which is a little bit more reasonable and much more 
focused on a quickness. Like this happens to be something quick, not long term, but a correction or crash of 20%, not a bear bear market where the bears are dominating for the next several months and years, right? So here we are with it under a bear indicator. We're in the red right now, right? Red bars. We went from green to red bars. And the next point would be white with red borders. And you could see every time we hit white with red borders, eventually there was a reversal. And we look for that reversal of the red with green bars. And then that bull indicator popping up to signify strength. And in the last three times this happened, this one lasted several months. This one lasted a year. This one lasted almost two years, right? And if we go back in history, you could see during the dot-com bubble, things were a little bit more volatile. So once they got back on track, things started to pick up for about a year or two, consolidate and then continuation of volatility to the upside based off the one week, right? It wasn't as clean as the last three years that we have seen. And those are some of the things I'm going to be watching here based off the one week. Now on the one day, things are a lot quicker and we start seeing a lot more volatility, right? Things start shifting back and forth a lot quicker. And the last time we had a crash was the 2020 crash. And we saw things go pretty quickly to the downside under one single bear indicator until finally there was a bull indicator almost a month after as things started to shift back up. And that's something I'm going to be looking for, those red with green borders. If we go back in time all the way back to 2007 and 08, you could see that things were a little bit more volatile. But once it finally hit that bottom, it bounced back from white with red borders, got that bull indicator and started to pick up traction. Right. And then we have the one week and one month to confirm these such turnarounds. Right. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. And we're currently under a bear indicator here after this fake out and volatility here and this is something i've been talking about since the beginning of the year that volatility will continue to persist and that's what we're continuing to see the question is will we go even lower to the downside and now we have resistance and support levels to look at right so the first thing is the supports right the lowest that we've gone so far is 410 if that gets broken through the next point of reference is 400 and then we have way down here at 38 right and also 3700 based off the s p 500 index and based off the spy 380 and 370 right those are key levels to be watching if things can bounce back from that or if we're going to continue to see that type of bearishness now right now things are trying to hold themselves up sideways and try to use this as a bottom but it's not guaranteed and it's not confirmed we are under a bear indicator we need to see real strength here turn around we need to see that bull indicator pop up and most significantly turn around here on the one week. That's the main thing I'm looking for. And then also the one month will confirm if we're getting out of this situation of such a bear indicator popping up anytime soon. And this bull indicator continuing to hold strong, guys. Those are the things we're watching now on the bigger picture. I know that we can talk about data. We can talk about the VIX. We can talk about the 10 year treasury and all that stuff has to do indirectly or directly correlating to the markets. But technicals right now is going to quiet down the noise and allow one to just focus on what's happening in front of us without even looking at news or even looking at what's going on within the overall picture. Now, I've talked about the VIX, 10 year treasury, how oil and other commodities indirectly have affected the markets. But in today's video, I wanted to break down something that's very important in the bigger picture and how 42 Vision is allowing us within the community to navigate through this within every single move to the upside and downside to be able to maximize no matter what's going on and be able to be prepared for once we finally turn around, which that time will come. The point of maximization is even much stronger, right? Instead of guessing through this, focusing through this. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.